and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shadow Anivia, as we're calling this deck. We're going Shadow Isles, 37 Shadow Isles cards, and three Freljord cards because we're playing Anivia. So this this video we're gonna have to be a, we're gonna have this video be a longer one again. As you know, yesterday we've been uh, switched it up where we're going uh, five matches per video. This one we're gonna be doing ten though because this is a donation deck. That's the two Ds here. I mean, if you want to see your deck on stream, um, it's a ten dollar donation. Or if you want me to build a deck around, you know, build a deck, um, ten dollar donation. There's a donate link down below for those y'all watching on Twitch or YouTube. This was one that uh, I put together that was, the challenge was, um, or like the donation to build a deck with the champions of Thresh, Hecarim, and Anivia. And so that's what we got here. We got these three that we're going with. Um, basically going with a, uh, going to pair that with, uh, instead of being like super controlly with those, I want to be a little aggressive because I want to have Hecarim's attack be kind of nice. And and uh, so we're going with some fearsome stuff. You know, we got Wraith Caller. Bring in Mist Wraith and, you know, Skitter, Mist Wraith, Arachnid Horse. You know, we're going with our fearsome cards, um, being able to get some damage in with that. And the reason why we're doing that is for Chronicler of Ruin. So Chronicler, kill an ally, then revive it, is awesome with Anivia. Because if, you know, if you have Anivia in play, you kill it, then revive it. Well, you actually just get, you just get the egg. Because whenever you kill Anivia, you get the egg. And then you revive it and you get a brand new Anivia. So you base, basically have two Anivias at that point. And Chronicler of Ruin is also great with Wraith Crawler to be able to get another Mist Wraith. And so I wanted to kind of set those up. Also Chronicler of Ruin, nice with Thresh. Because, you know, you get to see creatures die. Also not bad with Skitter. You know, you can basically turn Chronicler of Ruin into a Skitterer if you need to play some early defense. Um... So we have that. Oh, also great, of course, with Rekindler, obviously. Uh, for Yeah, for obvious reasons. So um, so yeah, basically I want to kind of make it a, a Chronicler of Ruin deck. Um, and, you know, like, so we can play, we can be aggressive. Uh, Mist Call is kind of the same kind of thing. Uh, we can be aggressive, though, and then have this awesome top end. So that's the, that's our deck. I think this will go pretty well. Let's give it a try. So we're calling it Shadow Anivia. Here we go, we're gonna go play 10 games. Alright, well, Miss Call's not a card that we need right away. I'm gonna mulligan that card. Garen and Fiora. This can take out barriers. Like, if they're playing Fiora, they're going to be playing a lot of barriers. This will take out a barrier. I think we'll get rid of Hecarim for now also, and we'll keep the Wraith Caller. Didn't really get cheaper cards. But good thing we kept the Wraith Caller, so we just have, like, the baseline of having a turn four play. Well, Vile Feast is also good against Fleet Feather Tracker. So that's another card that it's good against. Let's just file feast it. Obviously, Black Spear was better whenever it cost two. But I still think it's playable at three. Same like we have Mark of the Isles in here is better at plus three plus three. But I, I think the Mark of the Isles is kind of underrated right now. I, I think that people could be playing more of that card. Because with people. Like, most people aren't playing Mark of the Isles or Black Spear, so I feel like people aren't going to be playing around either of those cards, as we saw there with Black Spear. Because people aren't used to playing around them. And something about this... Um, this game is people really do 
you know, like, you do see this, you know, like, you do see the same kind of cards somewhat often, and having different cards, you know, having cards that are different that people aren't used to playing around can give you a big edge. And so that's why you can see, like, some really good deck, or, like, you see some decks in, in, like, high masters that are just kind of a little weird and playing some some different cards and they have a lot of success but then once once a lot of people start playing those decks and then other people get used to playing against them then those success rates fall back down i just don't like i was kind of while i was talking i was you know thinking do i play chronicler or do i play thrash chronicler or thrash and you know back and back and forth and we're gonna go thrash If I Chronicler my own Thresh, then we can get it back with Rekindler, but that resets the number of units died. Part. Eat up, Fred. This could be a bad block. But, um, you know, Thresh turning into a 3-1, I am basically planning on, use, you know, Chronicling the Thresh. So even though it'll have, you know, four out of six, planning on resetting it again. I don't know, maybe I don't reset it. Maybe I just play Mistwraith, Chronicler Mistwraith. And then it's at five out of six. Sure, fine. Would be nice to save these chroniclers and get rekindlers back. Because, like, look at this. We're gonna have turn seven rekindler. Turn eight, we're gonna chronicler it, plus chronicler it, plus miss call, bring it back. We can do all of that. That would give me too many units in play, though. But that could we could get a lot of Threshes, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Get a lot of Thresh. How do all those Threshes beat Garen? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. My shield is yours. One candle for every sun. I haven't figured out how it would be Garen yet. Hmm. Do I do the miss call that's 50 50? Bring back Rekindler? Probably not. shot. Come on, Rekindler. Come on, Rekindler. Yeah. No 
<laughs> they never end. Um, yeah, the Brom deck. Here, I, I'm right here on the YouTube channel. There's the link to it on the YouTube channel if you want to check it out. And in the uh, description, there's the deck list and the code. All right, well, I can't. I need two spots to Chronicler, Rekindler, and, you know, get back another Thresh. This one's at three out of six. You're welcome, you're welcome, Laser. So obviously we'll have Withering Will. So I need, let's see. Need Rekindler to stay alive. You block here, you block here. Of leveled up thrushes. So I have what three Anivias and a Hecarim I could put into play. We don't have room for all this stuff. How do we know which one that we're going to put into play? Dude, this is this is wild. <laughs> this is wild. All right, let's. Hey, Psychorb. Anivia. Level up Anivia. <clears throat> we get Anivia trigger too, right? Oh, Hecarim. <laughs> I don't have room for any of this stuff. <laughs> I don't have room for this stuff at all. I don't even know what's going to happen. This is crazy. Oh, don't have another judgment. Come on. Don't do that. Don't be like that. No, oh, you're stopping that trigger? Why? How does that trigger even matter? Alright, I guess just. You just get out of here, I guess. Because I need more room. You're a crappy 3 3. This right here is like one of the craziest games I've ever played. This is this is kind of insane. So like like Hecarim Hecarim could have brought you know two more 
uh, Spectral Riders with it. Plus, I could have attacked with these three. This would have brought, you know, so that, that would have been one, two, three, four, five. Plus, this brings another thing, you know, whether a Nevia or a Hecarim. Like, we could have had, like, you know, 15 things attacking. Oh, Hecarim just gets... Just goes away. Just Hecarim just gets exiled. Boo. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's why they had to deny that, because they didn't take the, the extra, because they, they ended at one. Wow, that was amazing. Four Hecarims. Wow. That Withering Whale was clutch, though. Um, that Withering Whale, getting rid of all those barriers, that was a clutch card, for sure. The Black Spear was pretty clutch, getting rid of the Fiora early. That was just pretty sweet. Okay, so we're, we gotta survive. It was, I mean, it was obviously all the, that missed call, too. The missed call hitting Rekindler, though, was a 50 50 shot. Mm. Glimpse Beyond wasn't really the two mana spell I wanted against the Jinx Draven deck. I need to I need to update my board. I never I just never think about updating the board. I'm playing this board all day and all yesterday. And I just got I got all the new board I got all the boards now. Get some new ones out here. Yeah, limitations keep the game from getting too out of hand, and also I think allows it to be a mobile game. You know, I don't think you know, like that. I think that's. That also helps it, it. Um, you know, able to play on mobile. Because you can't really, you know, attack with, like, the 15 things on mobile. Like, that's... That's pretty difficult. The party has I would have rather had you last turn, so I didn't have to waste that mana. Is that better than just playing Grass of the Undying on Draven? Maybe not. Maybe not. Could have leveled up Draven there if they would have used the Spinning Axe on the Draven first and then Whirling Death and and Strike. That's a good draw with us with me having like that one mana. First one's free. Oh, 
Gonna be a lot of creatures dying for Thresh. If Thresh survives. Um, do, 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 do. I don't think I'd save that. It's not really about us dealing, you know, Mark of the Isles. Basically, if we play Mark of the Isles, we just turn Mark of the Isles into one mana, deal five damage to them. But I don't think it's really about us dealing damage as, as a more so of preventing damage. Uh, reporting in? But I could be wrong. Explosives primed. Hmm. Wish I had Wither and Wail. I hope they don't have one damage for the Thresh. Oh, of course they have one damage for the Thresh. They have all these spinning axes. Is Thresh going to level up? Four out of six. Five, six. Perfect. Um, I'm thinking Anivia is going to attack and kill this, this thing, so I didn't just, just block it. And trade. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't. Yeah, they, they pumped this thing up and not the thing that would have killed Thrash. That's also kind of weird. What do we get? Hecarim. All right, we'll take Hecarim. It's either Anivia or Hecarim. 50-50 shot. Because it wasn't going to take the harsh winds in, in my hand. Yeah, they made a mistake letting Thresh live. Yeah, I'm loving this deck too, Corner. Corner memories, yeah. This deck looks really fun so far, I, I agree. This one's courtesy of Pine Piece. Thanks, Pine Piece. I can do this. So we're at nine, and we have gain three life in hand. That's usually a good spot to be. I protect this place. This should be game. Where's my axe? Sweet. Two and oh. Made made the deck by chance because of a quest and the available cards I had at the time, and it turned out to be really fun. That's that's pretty awesome. Oh man, I can't wait till, uh, let's see, just tomorrow is the last day that we'll have where we don't get any vault progress. Man, I wonder how much vault we're going to level up. Like, what are we going to get to? Like level 20? Are we going to get like seven extra capsules? I don't know. Like how, I wonder how much, because like these, right now how 13 is the max. I usually get to level 13, um, what, you know, like Friday, probably. Streamers will compete for high scores, yeah. I probably won't have high score compared to other people, especially how 
Yeah, I'm going to be streaming five... I'll be streaming, you know, five to six hours a day. Um, so, yeah, I probably won't have five people streaming more than that. Anivia Trindamir. Well, this can go... Do I want to keep Chronicler of Ruin? Yeah. I don't have all the cards, but I have I have all the champions and any card that I want to craft, I can craft. I I have some WoW cards, but I also have I have like sixteen thousand shards. Whatever, so like I could just craft anything if, if I don't have it, but I have almost everything anyway. So yeah, not too worried about getting anything. The war mother will unite us all. The war mother will unite us all. Me, 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 me. The problem with this attack, one, it's not good. Two, they kill, they block Wraith Caller, which that's the problem, because I want to revive Wraith Caller, but that's the card they block. It'll come to mobile whenever it's released. And, we have been told that like the release date is the last that I saw for the release date was the first half of 2020. They're currently testing out mobile in in Singapore. Currently Singapore has it. And it According to Corner of Memories, the APK is available if you're on Android and you look for it. I'm not sure what APK is. Uh, that might have been app. Try to just write app, actually. Probably just tried to write app and had a typo. My bad. Oh, that's the installation file? Oh, okay. Something ancient stirs. Ouch. That hurts. See, I was exp I was expecting to do twelve damage here. I wasn't expecting them to have a spell. Now if I attack in, I only do 9 damage. And I sacrifice 2 things. So I sacrifice 2 things to do 9 damage. I guess we still do it. They should have that 1-1 one, one block the 4-2. So that then an enemy attack can kill him. I protect this place. Stand and defend Huh. This is not the block I would have done. I will there you endure. go. That's a lot better attack. Or a lot better block. I bring the storm. Hmm. Door 
nothing new. Play play a mirror match. Um, go bigger, you win. That's how you win mirror matches. My opponent's going bigger than us. Not all the time, but just like this game they have. Like, they've gone bigger, they win. All those little cards just don't don't matter too much. Really doesn't feel like a good attack. This is our homeland. Endless cold. This Egnivia is definitely going to die. Cool. I'm really glad it took a Vengeance. It was going to die to theirs anyway. So we got a Vengeance out of their hand. That's awesome. That's really good. Getting that Vengeance out. And the game's the game's not over. The eternal guardian. So we'll see, the game's not over yet. Okay, now it's kinda over. I feel like Avarosen Sentry or something. No, don't Get the third hearth guard. Return to us. For my homeland. I protect this place. Okay, let's see what we get. I hope they get something not very good. <laughs> uh, Trindamir is usually pretty good. How do I... Survive from Trindamir. Wait, they just passed to me? Isn't this lethal? This is very lethal. What are they doing? They have nothing? They have nothing? We win? We win! 3 and 0. Oh. Yeah, that's how we survive Trindamir. We just win. I was actually what I was probably going to be doing there to not have their Trimdemir level up was I was going to glimpse beyond my Anivia. Like, that was my plan, was glimpse beyond my Anivia to not hit the Trimdemir for lethal. So it didn't level up. Alright, let's change our board. Let's go with the Iceborne Peak. I know our deck is is very Shadow Isles heavy, but that was pretty clutch. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe they had just had nothing, no cards that did anything. Maybe their hand was a bunch of of like. 
like two and three mana creatures, like Averrosen Sentry and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Well, at least Darius will get rid of the Rekindlers, obviously. Um, we'll keep the Grasp. Ugh, not Harrowing, not you, not yet. So turn 7 Harrowing is the earliest we can Harrowing. There we go, that's a good card. You won't get past me. Frenzied Skitter okay, is ready. the best card for us to draw. Frenzied Skitter. I like this board. This board's sweet. Oh, is it on me? No, it's not on me. Okay. I like the music with this board. There we go. Took a little bit to get there. Come on, Frenzy Skitter. No. Uh, this is going to be a bad turn. Going to be a bad turn. <laughs> That's the card I want. Dang. So options, mark, block Elise, block rear guard, or block the 1-1. One, one. I'm gonna go block the 1-1. One, one. So I go down to eight. But I still have this that can block these, like, you know, any of these three for a future turn. Um, so next turn we'll have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, not you. You can attack. Trade with Skitter. One short from Double Grasp. Next turn. House Spider flipping Elise is kind of rough. Uh, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have done Mark of the Isle, block a lease. I don't know. Stop. No. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's oh, come on. Really? That card, too? My true beauty is the nature's skin. My best draw is, I don't know, what, Vile Feast or something? I don't even know. Yeah, I have I have two dogs. And that's what I, I was just telling. One of my dogs likes to scratch my chair whenever I stop petting her. That's how I was telling her to, to stop with that. Hopefully this works. Oh. 
Boo. Well, they're using Mark of the Isles, the card that I say that he's more of. Alright, still three and one's very good. Alright, so Elise, Thresh, Trindamir. This is the you know the the spider deck. Um Yeah, they they could be playing Iceborne Legacy. Like this is like the Spiderling focused deck. We really see Rekindler and Chronicler of Ruin. We were seeing those two in our opening hand quite a bit. Grass was good against Elise, but not really good against anything else. Um, we had Grass there that game, and it was kind of slow. We'll just put it back. Sentry's always bragging. Always saying you can see the border from here. Always bragging. That's what I needed last game. Frenzy Skitter, where were you? Would have been a perfect last game. It was the card. The card we needed. But good old fearsome stuff. Don't let them block. See the Demostian border from here. I don't like that. Um, I'm gonna vile feast this thing. Just to use two mana, you know, so because that two mana was gonna be wasted. It's possible I should wait for Thresh to be in play, but I like using that two mana. Um, how do we lose the last match? Uh, flipped Elise, gave them a bunch of challengers, and then um, I had grasped the Undying for the, the Elise to kill that so we'd stay alive, but they had Mark of the Isles to make their thing bigger, and we lost. <laughs> Actually, oh, I had a bathroom break and timed out. See, I don't know. They're like, I didn't want to. I didn't really want to block any of that stuff. Maybe I should have blocked the 3 2. I pull the strings. Like a worm on a hook. I should have blocked the, the 3 2, maybe. Torches. 
All right, so it's going to kill these two. <clears throat> this is going to kill this thing. We're going to glimpse beyond this. And... This is going to be one, two, three, five. So it's going to be Thresh leveling up. They attack with Thresh, bring back in Elise or Trindamir. basically like my long-term chances of winning this game and in trading thrushes I think that if if they get if they have like thresh bring Trindamir that could be how they could lose this so that, that, that could be a way that I could lose this Expecting Anivia's to take over. For the um, ow, 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 ow. You're far from your flock, little bird. A bird of prey, pass alone. The stay at home order has been extended until April 30th. That definitely seems reasonable. For my homeland. Look out for reavers. Blow wind and crack your teeth. Alert the villain. So young. This Elise is going to be a problem, isn't she? Got life gain, though. A problem is in... She's fearsome. We got life gain. We got harsh winds. It's gonna be more of a problem. This is me killing Trindamir. Is that bad that I kill Trindamir? I can also just not block Trindamir. And I don't kill Trindamir. I guess not killing Trindamir is better. I will endure! Wait, is this? Okay, this puts me down to three. I'm mean, sad if I would have just done lethal, but I was running out of time. I, yeah, you know, I kept changing my mind so much of like what I want to do. So actually, what we're gonna do is block like this to, and we'll save, we'll save the harsh winds for the next turn when Trindamir is gonna be attacking for more. But now I get another Anivia. So next turn I'm attacking with two Anivias. Well, that's rude. Oh, I, 
guess I still have one Anivia. Have another ruination. That thing's big. Yeah, I grabbed Hecarim, so I, sh I just shouldn't even have played this Skitter. We got a Hecarim anyway. Not another Anivia. So their Skitter punished me for playing my Skitter. Could have just been one more point of damage. I suppose. That's a clutch, clutch harsh winds. Clutch, harsh winds. Boom. I honestly, like, maybe I just don't, maybe I shouldn't play the Rekindler there, because they just play a second Ruination. But I'm, gl I'm glad I saved the harsh winds. I didn't just play it the last turn just to save, you know, five life, is all I would have been playing at that previous turn. So I'm, I'm really glad that, uh, that that all, that we played that all, how that, yeah, how that all worked. <laughs> yeah. Anivia is so spooky. That yeah, spooky Anivia. Over here. This deck's sweet, though. We just got, you know, we lost to the Mark of the Isles trick, but besides that, this deck's been pretty sweet. What deck should you use to climb? Um, I honestly like the... I like the burn aggro that we played today. Um, and I think that's that's a real fast deck if you're just looking to... Okay. Yeah, so there you go. If you like Dra Jinx Draven aggro, this is the updated... Oh, sorry, I gotta do this. Karma Ezreal. Um... Bye bye. Um, try try that version of, you know, instead of Jinx Draven, it's Draven Teemo, but it's I have I built it to play against Control, and because it's it has a lot a lot more direct damage. It's all about direct damage and. Uh,
I'll take this. Fearsome V Elusives. I can go Horror and Skitterer or Thresh. Horror plus Skitterer or Thresh. We'll go Thresh. I mean, controls good for climbing because I mean, it's not it's not as fast of games, but you know, if you're winning, you're going to be you're climbing. So like, all all that matters is that you win in that respect. But um, yeah, you can have. Uh, sorry, you can, you can have some games that take a long time. I will play my part. Which isn't good. I don't like Will of Ionia right now. Yasuo decks aren't like they're they're playable. Um, I have a Yasuo mid range that, that we've done fairly well with the two times we've played it. Um, here, we played it yesterday. There we go. That was pretty great having dump two of those for Ezreal. It's pretty great. All right, seven mana. So I can have Thresh plus a two drop. I can just play, you know, obviously I can just play a Nivea, but um, could just go straight to combat. Their deck's like built on spells though, so going straight to combat is something that they may like. Let's, uh, let's see. Yone. Yone's the reason not to play anything. Yone. That's the card. Yeah, this is this is a different deck. This is um this is a deck I just put together today. Haven't played this deck before. This was a donation deck were to build a Thresh, Hecarim, and Nivea deck. And it has, it kind of has like some different elements. You know, like we got fearsome stuff in there, but then we have like the ability to clone a bunch of um, clone a bunch of Anivias. It's a tough call whether to Mark of the Isles or Glimpse Beyond. It's honestly a tough call. Mark of the Isles would do another six damage to him, so it would put him down to nine. <clears throat> but I like how Glimpse Beyond doesn't, you know, it makes it harder for them to level up Ezreal. I like that. Do 
do do do do do do do do do now like they won't they won't respond to mark they'll just take the six damage kind of expecting thermogenic beam to kill the hecarim Up here or not? Let's see all of it. Okay. See, there's thermogenic beam kill the Hecarim. We're gonna grasp kill this thing. <clears throat> Is that better than uh, playing like a thresh or something? Maybe not. I don't want the Yone blowouts. You know, I don't want to play Rekindler and then the Yone. Down to five. So now we play Anivia? Question mark? Or Rekindler bring back Hecarim? Probably do Rekindler bring back Hecarim on their turn. Anivia on my turn. Of course, my, my worst case scenario is them is them having another Ezreal Where there is life, right now. I'm I'm hoping they need to go look for Ezreal. Like they don't have one immediately in hand. Like you know, we just killed one. I'm really hoping they don't have a second one. This is our time. The answer lies within. That's a good sign. That's a good sign that they don't have another one. Leveled up Ezreal. Ah, uh, they did have another one. I'm so good, I surprised myself. I so. The world's a big place. What do y'all think of this play? I really thought about just glimpse beyond sack my Anivia so they don't get the target. But if I do that, then you know, then we just have the egg, and they can just shoot the egg for Anivia. And kill it. But I guess my my worst case scenario, like you know, that's that's my worst case scenario. But then they're using their mana to do that, and they can't just play Ezreal also. Now with me not doing that, now this is obviously a lot worse because they get to now play Ezreal and now I am likely dead.
This is the only, like, this is basically the only way I could lose. So, like, like that was, it was kind of a weird play, but I feel like it was the play that I needed to make. Um, if I sack this, they don't get the four damage, do they? Grasp was that could come in handy. That could come in handy. So could withering well. Those could both come in handy, gaining life. Your end is my duty. Dishonorable. Do not interfere. So I like where we're at now, the Withering Will Grass. Those are two good, really good draws. That was a tough call, though, whether or not to do that, because... It was, like, unintuitive to do that, but... Everything burst speed. Do I kill Ezreal or Karma? I guess Ezreal, right? Ah, uh, just had lethal. Boo. So yeah. Lesson lesson was if I would have sacked the if I would have glimpsed beyond it, the Anivia Then they would have only had seven th things for Ezreal so they would not have had a leveled up Ezreal but Honestly, I don't think that that would have I don't think that would have saved me Honestly, I, do, I don't think that would have saved me No, that that wouldn't have because Yeah, that wouldn't have saved me at all because they, they still could have just done exactly what they did because they would still just play Ezreal as not leveled up, and that's still fine. And then, and then you know, they had those two thermogenic beams, and then they just play a thermogenic beam. They don't kill Anivia, but they level up the their Ezreal at that point, and then they play the other one, and they just do all that damage. And so, um, no, I couldn't, I couldn't have stopped them from from killing. Yeah, they had, they just had, it was it was just absolutely perfect. You know, they had the second, they had the second Ezreal. And then they had the two thermogenic beams, and then two of the healing card, <laughs> you know, along with it, and uh, that was just that was just perfect. And then of course the the get excited as well. But yeah, that was that was rough. They had it all. Do I keep Miss Call? I'm I'm certainly keeping these two. Um, I think we'll get rid of Miss Call. I don't know though. Like I could I could definitely see Miss Call doing great stuff. All right, well, we'll get it back, so we'll see. I'm glad that we mulliganed it away and then redrew it. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Good card to draw. Real good card to draw. It's that perfect three drop. So clutch. Still attacking. 
So obviously that means that they have uh, Radiant Strike. So do I want to trade Frenzied Skitter for Radiant Strike? I think so, because I, I not only trade for Radiant Strike, but I also keep their Zed from, um, from leveling up. Damage in. Okay. So they're this this standalone rally deck. So they're gonna be rallying and everything. Um Six mana, yeah. You're covered. Okay, at least no rally this turn. That's good. Do not deny me. So I can take nine. Oh, I could have glimpsed beyond that. It's fine. Honestly, that, that two mana later on for, like, grass may actually be better. It's, it actually is probably better that I'm saving that two mana. No. That's bad. That was bad. They had oh good. Not rally. Okay, good. Oh wait, if I'm still no, that's actually still that's still bad. Because now I can't I can't kill that thing with grasp. So that's still bad. That's still bad. This game is just crazy. I There's no way I played that game right. There's no way that I did. That was a frustrating game. That Hecker on Will of Ionia. That felt. That felt bad. All right, Karma Ezreal again. Let's retry this matchup. I uh, don't have any plans to right now, Merkinson. I like Legends of Runeterra more. Ezreal number one. Ruination can be good later on in the game against Ezreal and Karma. It can be. Like, if, you know, if they have Ezreal Karma in play, you gotta kill him. It's... It's not necessarily likely going to be good. It's likely going to be too slow, but it can be. Like, it's... It has the opportunity to be.
do, 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 do. There we go. I think we can play these. This is rough. Finally, I'm playing this you know this kind of matchup that takes a long time that if the opponent's just going to sit there forever each turn like each you know each, each decision this can be rough We get them out of mana. And I kinda wanna use just use the black spear and kill this. I know Black Spear kills Karma and Ezreal. And so I may live to regret that. But I need Um I need something to die first. And then kill those. Night falls. This was a really poor draw. This is this is. We can't get anything to play on turn six. Why? Why can't rekindle or at least cost six mana? I don't know. I'm playing Withering Whale this turn. Yes. All right, just bank the mana. The reason why I want to block here is because then because they can't block these things. So I was thinking at least. Nah, I could withering whale this turn and just do one damage to Shadow Assassin and then. Have a Nivea attack and kill the Shadow Assassin. They're just gonna be chump blocking with the Shadow Assassin anyway. Bounce that again. These Will of Ionias. This is the third game in a row of like a, a devastating Will of Ionia. The last two we lost, you know, <clears throat> the Hecarim and a Thresh, the, the game before. Now this time, Anivia. Third game in a row. Different champion getting bounced and just being a time walk. <laughs> Bark. Barking spooked you there. Yeah, I I heard there was a a kid you know on a skateboard roll by. Stop scratching the chair. Stop. Something in. Ezreal's only 3 out of 8, which is good news for us. I don't want to play anything pre-combat and let them Yone.
We got nine cards over there, which is bad news for us. Our deck needs to be nerfed. We're playing right now. I mean, we're four and three. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I wish I had something good to do. But I don't. I mean I can I can glimpse beyond my Anivia and then play Rekindler. I don't love that. I like saving glimpse beyond for like whenever they target my things so they don't get the uh, triggers with Ezreal. I can just cast a Rekindler as a 4-4, but I don't love that either. Basically, I don't like any play we can have right now. To have shadow like shadow isles is still still very good but shadow isles used to be ridiculous think of all think of all the cards in shadow isles that have been nerfed you know uh you know if we can list them all mark of the isles wraith caller remember this thing used to have fearsome also um those two rekindler hecarim um black spear Time for a true display of skill. Watch and learn. I mean, I, I kind of want to just Ruination, but I don't want Ruination to get denied. I guess I, I, I kind of have the Harsh Winds. really don't want them getting free Mystic Shots. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is very likely that we're dead. I can't imagine that they, they can't spend 11 mana to kill us this turn. Two mana Ezreal is messed up. Ezreal needs to cost more. Or do one damage, not two damage. Like, Ezreal doing one damage it would still be a good card. Two damage is just ridiculous. Oh wait, they they need to level up Ezreal first. Okay, I just remember that. Okay, so we're not we're not dead yet. They do have to level up Ezreal first. I'm just so used to them playing Ezreal, and Ezreal's already leveled up.
What if they just made it that the leveled up Ezreal doesn't make a Nexus shot? A Mystic shot? Is that nerfed good enough? I don't know. Yeah, Ezreal for for a three one or for a, yeah, Ezreal for like the elusive like for the elusive and everything does seem like pretty pretty cheap at uh, at three mana. This would be awful if they had a three mana static shock. If like how they cast the progress day earlier, if they had three mana static shock, this would it would be so gross. We started this game yesterday. Slowest opponent. Oh, that's a hobbit right there. Just throwing the mushroom clouds out before Ezreal leveled up. Why would they kill the 3-2 and not kill Anivia? What are they doing? Why would they not kill Anivia? What? The Freljord's eternal guardian! I was expecting I was expecting Anivia to die this whole time. Why did they They just didn't kill Anivia? What are they what are they doing? Where did you kill a mist wraith? You know, we had we had we had the egg. Now we just have four damage to them and all their stuff. I guess they have to have deny now. We'll find out tomorrow. You're between me and glory. Act with conviction. So we're only doing two damage to all their stuff now, so we're, we'll use Withering Will to do the third point of damage to kill the Ezreal. And so both their champions will die. Yeah, they could definitely be new to the deck. That's what it definitely feels like, they're, they're new to the deck. We are in Master's Rank, though, so it's not, they're not new to the game, at least, at the very <laughs> least, or either that or, or, I don't know, maybe they're, like, cooking also or something? I don't know. Uh, it's gotten dark in here. It's gotten dark over the last half hour. 
which has been this match. So we just had what all died from. I guess so. We have a th we had three creatures die, so we have a thirty three percent chance. You know, we have a one in three chance for for miss call. Um, oh, that's true, Zythan. That's a that is a good call. That's a good call. Could could definitely be internet problems, this especially in this time, time with so many people staying home. They could be you know, in a place like where they're having issues with the internet. Absolutely. That could be a thing. Many past lives to a single soul. Alright, I'll be right back. Come on, dogs. Come here. It's <laughs> still not my pr priority yet. They just kept jumping on over, like all over me, and so I let them out. They're in the backyard now. I'll let them back in a little bit. But give them some time to run around and everything. I changed games. Changed to Legends of Runeterra. I wrote a few weeks ago uh, why I like Legends of Runeterra more. What is what is this? Oh, Ritual of Renewal. Be at peace. Oh no. We are going to be here for a while still. So they're tapped out. Um... I'm thinking about sacrificing something and then playing Rekindler so I get a third Anivia. So I can have three Anivias in here. The problem, yeah, or I could just go Glimpse Miscall. I could just do that also on Anivia. The problem is that I'm not, I want Glimpse to be able to use Glimpse reactively to stop no, I guess we just do this. Even though I really want Glimpse reactively to stop Ezreal counter, but they're at 6 out of 8. I'm not really going to be able to stop Ezreal from leveling up. We drew another Anivia. Alright, so Ezreal's leveled up. Eternal winter. Just basically not letting them block the four power thing. They gotta block something. Yeah, yeah, basically, uh, yep, there's my YouTube channel right there, has all the videos, basically just what I'm doing here on stream. I, I post everything I do on stream to the YouTube channel, so every every deck I play um, goes up there, so there are, you know, hundreds of Legends of Terror deck videos, we make four or, five, four or five every single day. So yeah, check that out, youtube.com slash hawktie. All right, I'll go check on the dogs while this is happening.
I think they're thinking it's time for food. Because usually, you know, it's usually after the stream, I go, I let them out and then feed them. One life. <laughs> no, yeah, other, yeah, other champions can get multiple, yeah, other regions, uh, like, yeah, Wayfinder can get multiple, um, Teemos. What what does Freljord do to get multiple oh um yeah War Mother's Call? So I want to cast Anivia's Harsh Winds. I protect this place. I want to cast Anivia's Harsh Winds. So that we can put Anivia back in the deck. But honestly, I shouldn't do that. I should keep Ruination available because it's possible that, you know, like they play like Karma Ezreal. And, like, if they play Karma and Ezreal, then they don't have the mana to play the spells. They need to untap and play all these spells to kill me. And then if they play Karma Ezreal, then I Ruination and kill those two. Oh, the Ezreal just got burned. Ezreal was 11th card. <clears throat> yeah, oh yeah, I Ioni has Dawn and Dusk. That's true. Alright, so they're just gonna give me some puff caps. And basically just like they're like they have a prayer. Prayer being I um I draw a lot of puff caps. That's their only prayer. So I'm gonna cast both these harsh winds. So now I just put two Anivias into the deck. Those Anivias don't have any puff caps. So I'll get two more cards into the deck, you know, if, if we just draw Anivia. Okay, didn't take any puff caps. I think that was their prayer. Is, you know, hitting like 15 puff caps and then finishing me off with burn spells or, you know, 10 puff caps or whatever. How many they needed, I don't know how many they needed. Maybe like 12, like a get excited and a mystic shot. Finally. One of the longest games I've played. Finally done. And we're five and three. Two more. Mm. 
just regular Ezreal. Ezreal Freljord. Man, we have played against so much Ezreal today. But the one deck that I built specifically today to face Ezreal, Burn Aggro, we did not face any in that matchup, of course. But besides that, in every other every other deck's faced Ezreal like three times. <laughs> I was like, all right, there's there's so much Ezreal around. I need to build a, an anti-Ezreal deck. But uh, how old is Harvey? Kind of old. Um, I don't know like the exact ages of. Of, like I don't know the I guess puppy I kind of know better but you know Harvey was Harvey was a stray dog um I think she's like nine she showed up to my house about seven years ago and I think the vets kind of estimated that she was like two at the time I think she's about nine Right, that was a dumb attack by me. <sighs> Need to refocus after that long game. That was a dumb attack. It's not too bad though. I mean, it's fine. We'll be, we'll be okay. Glimpse beyond that. Want to mind drawing a vile feast? I don't mind that. And doing this, of course, before we attack. Don't let him block. Crockler of Ruin is just sweet. There was a little fella asking for Cold isn't the only thing. <laughs> I know, right? We face so much as real today. All as real all day. We've had. Oh, I don't know. I like our deck though. Like we've had good hands here. Oh, I think I'll just go to attacks now, or do I play as real for or Nivia first? Yeah, actually, we play Nivia first. Like, this isn't like a you know like they're not a Yone deck. They're like a harsh winds deck. Like they're gonna be using like spells to to stay alive. I think it's so. I think that. It's not really a big deal that they can play like a creature or something, so whatever they play is not going to be as good of an, as a Nivea. Winter, take you. Yeah, sure. Be a nice feel archer. I like a Nivea more. Sorry, excuse me. Um, do 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 do. This is seven damage. So there's the harsh winds. Static shock. Rend the 
Yeah, Hecarim's just a really good attacker. You know, Hecarim's just a, a good threat and everything, and it's <clears throat> you know you can sometimes put Hecarim into play off of a leveled up Thrash also. Um, but yeah, it's just a it's a card that ends good at ending games. OPP surrendered. We're six and three. So that game, we really saw like how good like all the fearsome stuff is, and really the the mist wraith plus um, chronicler of ruin combo. Uh, you know, like that combo really showed off there. All right, pick this up. We could go seven and three. Even if we lose sixty, you know, nothing wrong with the sixty percent win rate, but could be. Could be a seventy percent win rate. Final boss time. Zed. So probably elusives, with it being Zed. Withering Whale is usually good against elusives, and you know we have the Viling Feast, the Vile Feast uh, to help it out. I'm not gonna Vile Feast Omen Hawk because it dies to Withering Whale. I want to Vile Feast a two toughness creature so I can pair up Vile Feast and Withering Whale together. To take him down. Yeah, I missed the final final boss soundtrack. It's a good one. I'm gonna play this first. Zed is like the only thing that they could play they could block these and they're not gonna block with Zed. All right, basically doing this right now just to have a blocker to keep. Like, it's unfortunate that that's a 3-2 Z. Or sorry, that's a 4-3 Z and not a 3-2. But. First step to the Ugh. Man, those two cards they have are going to be real good. I don't think this deck is. I don't think this deck's like good enough to be the nail in Fearsome's coffin. No, like I, I don't think this is. I don't think this is a deck that's going. That's going to. Warp the metagame. Jewel Protector is just a really good card. It's just a really, really good card. And great hand. GG opponent. They didn't have a turn two play, but turn one Omen Hawk. Nothing on turn two, but that turn that extra two mana was really important for the Elixir of Iron. But then turn three, a four three Z. And then a Wayfinder that had two Omen Hawks. And then Jewel Protector on 5, plus the Elixir of Iron to protect. Very good. GG's. Well, they, actually, they didn't go straight to attacks. So I actually get to play this. I, you know, I figured they would go straight to attacks. 
I guess it doesn't really matter if they go straight to attacks. I could have still played it anyway. Deny. 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 I'm going to have my spell get countered. Hmm. Well, Zed levels up. I guess blocking the Omen Hawks was just something I shouldn't have done. I should have just let them have to keep the Omen Hawks and just have to fill keep their board filled with Omen Hawks. Right, yeah, I guess I, I just should not have blocked the Omen Hawks. Yeah, I like Deny too. I think it's a good card. Like I'm I think it's good to have Deny in the metagame. I don't know if the deck... I don't think the game really needs better sweepers. Control decks are, are already the most popular, and control decks are doing the best. The whole free spell mana thing really... really is a big deal, and so like that's, that's why it makes sense for spells to cost more. plan for what I'm doing right now. These are dangerous lands. I don't have a plan against a 5-5. A five five. Yeah, basically a Baneslayer Angel. I don't, I don't have any plan against Baneslayer Angel. 5-5 five five Flying Lifelinker. I'll let them just attack. They'll never see me coming. I really wish I would have drawn Ruination. How great would it have been if I would have just drawn Ruination and they just they just played that thing for no reason. And I Ruinationed. That would have been great. So yeah, that, that game, I don't necessarily think that we're always going to lose to Elusives or that it's a bad matchup, but their their hand was just amazing. Like, you know, like that that's just how that was. Like, their hand was amazing, so uh, yeah, GG's there. Um, anyway, talking about our deck, uh, I liked it. It was, it was a lot of fun to play. We had we got to do some crazy things like that very first game that we played with this deck. That game one was absolutely amazing. We had what the four threshes, four leveled up threshes in play, uh, none of them attacking yet, and so like all get getting you know getting to attack and bring other things into. It was crazy. We got to do some crazy stuff. Um, Mark of the Isles did disappoint. That was that was one of the weaker cards in our deck. Um, we could have used another, like a, something else, for like turn two, turn three, so turn two, turn three, turn four, like another thing to play, because uh, you know if you kind of look at like these one through four mana cards, um, 
you know, Chronicler of Ruin is not really what you want to play on turn four. But anyway, you know, Miss Call, that doesn't really work on turn, you know, that early. Glimpse Beyond, same thing. Mark of the Isles, even Black Spear. Like, you know, we only have like one, like no, nothing to play on turn one. We have um, Arachnid Horror to play on turn two and Mistrace, sorry, Horror and Mistrace on turn two. And then like just Skitter on turn three and like just uh, Wraith Collar for like turn four. So could have probably used something else there. The Mark of the Isles didn't didn't really hold up. Um, definitely thought about playing the box. I wonder if like this deck could play Catalyst of Aeons. Maybe maybe not. But there's there's a lot of options. Um, I don't I don't have like a great suggestion. Maybe it's playing. Maybe it's playing more Black Spear. That card looked pretty good. Maybe like a, a second Vile, or like a third Vile Feast, second Black Spear, and not play Mark and just get another Vile Feast, Black Spear. I kind of like that. I like that. Could also just play some Averroes and Sentries. That, that does make it more likely you miss with Wraith, Wraith Caller, though. But Averroes and Sentries are a really good card. And it works well with Chronicler of Ruin and everything like that. But I think I would just go with just take out Mark of the Isles and play a, a Vile Feast and a Black Spear. I think that's what I would do. Yeah. But there we go. That's Shadow Anivia. Pretty cool way to play Anivia. And I, I think this deck, this deck worked out well. All right, but those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck, the games, all that kind of stuff. Um... And, you know, this was a donation deck, so if you want uh, if you want to donate to see your deck on stream, or if you want me to build a deck, like this was this was a donation deck of build a deck around Thresh, Hecarim, and Anivia, those three champions. Uh, if you want me to build a deck for you, uh, you know, it's just a $10 donation. There's a donate link down below in the info panel for those of y'all watching on YouTube, and the, the video information, and there's the link right there. Um... But anyway, that's Shadow Anivia, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.